to Mullins coming to you live from my backyard. We've got my swing set, we've got the birds chirping, the sounds of the outdoors, but that's what we've got to work with. We're all at home, safer at home. Today's workout is full body, so you can do whatever level you need. I'll give you options for beginning, intermediate, and advanced. This is going to be about a little less than 10 minutes, so if you need more, what you'll do is just repeat it once, twice, three times, whatever you need. You get the idea. So without wasting any more time, let's get to it. Okay, we're gonna get started with a jumping jack. You can do this modified in a low impact or with a full jump, let's go. So if you're doing the low impact version, it's right here, good. Or take it right here with a nice jump. We're doing 30 seconds. Good. Keep going with whatever version you've chosen. 10 seconds. Good. Just warming the back up, warming the legs up, getting the heart rate up. Four, three, two, one. Excellent. So we're gonna do a little squat. This is the first thing we're doing, so you can take it a little bit more uh, on the gentle side. Three, two, one, we take it down, up. Good. Just remember, you're just getting into it. You don't have to get crazy yet. Yet. Good. From the side, it looks like this. Good. Pin the stomach into the lower back. Good. We got five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. We're gonna go back to that jumping jack, but this time we're gonna open the chest up and let the arms come wide. So same thing, high or low impact. Three, two, one. We've got open, open, open. If you're the crunch of leaves here, or right here. Good. Excellent. You can always take it low impact. Nice, big, wide chest. Open and close. Excellent, we've got five, four, three, two, and one. Nice, we're gonna do some lunges just to warm up the hip flexors and the legs. So, as a reminder, oh, I've got these weights behind me in the way. You're gonna take one leg back and you're just gonna take it down and up. Keep the belly nice and tight. Excellent. So right now you've got one leg in behind you. We're just warming up those legs. Good. And it doesn't have to be that deep. You can be a little bit more shallow with your lunge or deep down and up. Good. Hands wherever they're comfy. Three, two, and one. Nice. Let's do the other side. Okay, we're doing the other side. Right now we go down, up, down, up. Your hands can be wherever you want them to be. They can be balancing here in midair on your hips. We're just stretching out those hip flexors. Good. Excellent, keep going. Uh-oh, I'm hitting like gravel here. <laughs> it's nice and sliding, but it's providing proprioceptive training. Three, two, and one. Good. We're gonna do one more round of jumping jacks, and then we will be done with the warm-up. So this time I'd like you to take your arms just straight up and over from the chest. So three, two, one. This is low impact, kind of warming up the shoulders. Good, or you can jump it. That's it. Good, keep going. Now another option would be, you guys keep going, if you had a weight or a ball, this is a good place to put that in. Four, three, two, and one. Nice. That's the warm up. Okay, we're gonna get started with squats, this time with weights. So pick up your weights now. Oh, I have mine right here. 
We're just gonna take it down two, up two, four, three, two, down, two, up, two, good. Down, down, up, up, good. Chest is open, shoulders are back. Down, down, up, double that. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Good, 10 seconds. Down, up, you got it. Four, three, two, one. Excellent. That's one round of squats. Okay, push-ups are next. So if you want to do them on your knees or on your toes, either one is fine. Just go ahead and get on your mat. Come on down. Four, three, this is 30 seconds on. Two, and one. Here we go. You can do it on your own time. Breathe in and out. Remember, knees are okay for a wall. Keep going, we got 10 seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Good, okay, lunges. Lunges are next, so pick up your weights. Okay, get ready. We're gonna go in about five seconds. Go ahead and put the right foot back. I wanna go this way so you can see me. Four, three, two, one. We go down, down, up, up. Good, down, down, up, up. Good, shoulders are back. Chest is open. Down, down, good. Let's double that. We go down, up. Down, up. Here comes the breeze. Good. Four more. Three, two, one. Excellent. We're going to do the other side. Four, three, two. Here we go. We go down, down, up, up. Down, down. I picked a weird place to put my back foot. Up, up, one more. Up, double it, down, up. Good, keep it up. Four more. Three, two, one. That's 30 seconds. Good job. Okay, we got a row. A very nice and narrow bent over row. Pick up your weights. All right. We're gonna get a flat back, so you're gonna hinge at the hips. Nice, wide stance, belly is tight. Good, shoulders back. We go in four, three, two, let's row. We go row, down, row, down. Good, keep all the weight back in the heels and the glutes. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Good, we're here just for about 10 more seconds. Good. Excellent. Keep rowing. Four, three, two, one. That's it. Grab your chair or curb if you're doing this outside or a couch if you don't mind jumping up and down off of it because we're going to step up and down, right, left. Here's my little bench. We go in four, three, two, let's go. You just step up, up, down, down. Let's take it faster if you're feeling nice and secure. You take it as fast as you want it. Good. Or you can give it a little hop. Good. You do your version. What feels safe to you? What feels challenging? Good. Four, three, two, one. That's one side. Now we have to do left, right, left, right. We go in four, three, two. You're on. Let's go. Left, right, left, right. Or start to pick it up. Good. Whatever tempo works for you. Remember, you can give it a little heart rate start. There, a little burst. Four. 
I've moved that bench out of the way, so clear that if you need to make room for a safe space. Now grab your weights again. We're gonna do some biceps. Here we go. We're just gonna do up two, down two to start, and then we'll pick up the pace just like we did. Four, three, two, palms up. We go up, up, down, down, up, up, down, good. Three, down, you got that. Up, up, good. Singles. Up, down, up, down, good. Good, keep going. Squeeze that tummy. Good. Four, three, two, that's it. It's over too soon, right? Next up, we've got a knee drive to the chest. It's gonna work your legs and it's gonna get your heart rate up. And you can do this at any level. You can take a deeper lunge and that's gonna make it harder or you can stay more upright. But what you're gonna do is put one leg in front, get back into as far of a lunge as you can, arms out, then drive, drive. Let's go. Drive it to the chest. Come on. You can get low if you can. Keep going. Drive, drive. You can be up higher if that feels better. Just keep going. Come on. Three, two, one, and that's 30 seconds. Should you feel it in that touch? We're going to do the other side. I'm going to try not to slip on this gravel. Four, three, two, let's drive it. Good. Come on. All these unusual workout areas make it woo, good for training. Good knee to the chest. Less than 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Now, I was sliding all around there. And I'm not editing that because I want you to know whatever you're doing is better than that. Friends, we've got tricep dips coming up. So you can use a chair, you can use your couch, really whatever you have to put your hands back. You're gonna start seated and then you're just gonna work your way out. You can do this bent leg, elbows to 90 degrees and you can do straight leg. Same thing, four, three, two, one. Down, up. Whatever pace works for you. Get those elbows at 90. Good. Keep pressing. I'm gonna try not to take this bench over with me. Good. 10 seconds. Perfect. If this is too hard, don't go as far. Just do what you can. Three, two, one. Up next, we've got either a sumo squat or a plie, depending on what you want to call it. It's the same move. You're going to turn your feet out just a little bit, and you're just going to sit your body down and up and make sure your booty is tucked under. We go in four, three, two, one. Down, up, down. Listen, your hands can be here. They can be here. It doesn't matter. You can just make sure that you're keeping it tucked under. Good. Another thing you could do would be to grab a weight. Down, up. Make it harder. Good, five seconds. Four, three, two. That's it. I've grabbed my weights. Now, you probably want to err on the side of a little smaller weight for this next one. We're gonna work the shoulders. We're just gonna take a deltoid raise up to the side and to the front. That's it, in three, two, let's go. Up, up. Whatever tempo that you want to do, just make sure that the weight is not going any further than shoulder level. It can be a little bit under, but it's not gonna be above because then it gets out of your shoulders and gets right into your neck, Put in tension in places that tension does not belong right now. Three, two, and that's 30 
30 seconds. We've got abdominals. So let's go ahead and lie down on the mat. We're gonna start with straight leg lifts. We're gonna take the booty off the ground, up to the sky in four, three, two, and here we go. We go lift, lower, lift, lower. Good, gotta get comfortable. Just keep thinking you're driving the heels up to the sky. Nice. And I call these straight leg lifts, but really I usually call them heels to heavens because that's what you're trying to do. Good, think about your heels going out toward you, not this way. Just keep it up for four, three, two, and one. Excellent. We're gonna take the head and shoulders off the ground, get into a little tiny ball, take your elbows out to the sides, and we're gonna do a bicycle like this. Join me, let's go. Good. Get that elbow crossing over the opposite knee. Cross, cross. Good. Guess what? 10 seconds. Keep going, you got it. Four, three, two, and one. Perfect, okay. Get that back nice and glued into the ground. We're gonna actually do traditional straight leg lifts. Now, if you're just starting, you can do one at a time, or if you're more advanced, you can take both. Let's go. So this is the more advanced option. Good. This one isn't no slouch either. It's still pretty hard. You wanna make sure to keep your lower back glued onto the ground. If you're good with those, go ahead and try to take your head and shoulders off the ground. The dog next door loves this exercise. He's like, more, 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 come on. Three, two, and one. That guy's a maniac, he can't get enough. Round two, let's get into position. We're gonna do those heels to heavens. We're gonna take those heels right up to the sky in four, three, two, let's go. Lift, lift, good. See if you can get up there and hold just for a second. And if you think, Minta, I'll never get my hips off the ground. You will, you really will, eventually. Just keep trying because it sometimes takes time to develop those lower abdominal muscles. Good. See, I'm still struggling with them. I got the pressure of the birds and the dogs and the sun coming out. Three, two, one, perfect. Bicycle's coming up, so go ahead and get prepped. Get into a little ball. Your elbows are out. We go in four, three, two, let's go. Good. Cross it, cross it. If this is too hard for you, good. Keep your legs on the ground and you just go side to side. Perfect, but most people are gonna be good with a bicycle. You can do some level. 10 seconds. Come on. Three, two, one. Excellent, we got those straight leg lifts. Remember, biggest thing is to keep your lower back pinned. We can start with single legs, here we go. So if you wanna be here, good. Or if you wanna be here, just don't let those lower back, the lower back lift off the ground. Okay, again, if you're more controlled and you feel good, then you go for it. You can also do these up here, but I don't want anybody to hurt their neck, so if this is more comfortable, keep it there. Three, two, one, and that, my friends, is it. Uh, I'm assuming that a lot of you will want to do the second set, so go ahead, push play again, I'm gonna leave a cool down to you on your own. And one final image of this beautiful play structure. Are you jealous? Yeah. Until next time, have a great day. I look forward to seeing you at the next workout.